Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on setting up AWS CodeCommit. In this tutorial series, we'll go over the different aspects of CodeCommit. We will create our first repository, and we'll also set up an SSH key for our IAM user, so that way we can push to our new repository. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we'll do is we'll create our first repository. We're just going to call this code commit and we'll give it a quick description of AWS tutorial series and we'll create repository. And so now that we have our first repository, we can go ahead and dive into it. And so it's pretty simple. We get our repository name, the ID, uh, the Amazon resource name, and the key details here are going to be the HTTPS and the SSH. Uh, URLs for us to push up to a repository. In this tutorial, we're going to go over using the SSH because the HTTPS is pretty easy. It's just a user and password. And inside our settings, um, we just have our repository name and description. And you can set a default branch that when a user clones the repository is what's going to get cloned. In most cases, you'll probably want it master. So in my GitHub, I have a nice easy setup for you to create your SSH key pair and how to set it up with code commit. So all I'm going to do is copy and paste. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to CD into our .ssh directory. And we can do that by CD home and .ssh. And inside here, we're going to run SSH keygen. And what this is going to do is this is going to create an SSH key pair for ourselves. And the file that we want to save this key as is we're just going to save it as code commit underscore RSA. And we don't need to enter a passphrase and we can just click enter again. And you can see we have our SSH key already created. So if we go ahead and list this out, we do ls code commit star, we can see we have the two, uh, two keys here. And the one that we're gonna need right now is the code commit rsa.pub. And this is the one that we're going to cat out and we're gonna put it in our IAM role. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cat this file out and we're gonna copy this SSH key. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And what we need to do is we need to go to uh, our IAM management console. And we're going to select the user who is going to have the access to um, our code commit. So in this case, we're going to select AWS tutorial series. And what we're going to do here is we're going to upload the SSH key. So we'll click upload SSH key. And all we're going to do is we're going to paste that key in. And we're going to click Upload SSH Key. So the one thing we're going to want to pay attention to here is the SSH Key ID. And this is going to be used in the configuration file uh, that we're going to soon set up in order to talk to code commit. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to touch a config file inside of our .ssh directory. And we're going to set up its permissions real quick. And now what we want to do is we want to edit that config file. And you're just going to paste in the block that I have right here. And all we're going to change is we're going to change that user right there. So we're going to change the SSH key ID with the one that we just created. So we're going to jump over to our IAM management console. We're going to copy this SSH key ID. And we're going to paste it in. And we're going to click save. And now all we're going to do is we're going to run a test command to make sure that everything's working. So if we jump back over to our repository here and we want to run this uh, SSH command here, we could see that we're going to get a successful connection. So we'll go ahead and run that. And we can see here that we've got a successful authentication over SSH. So now we have contact with AWS code commit. So now what we want to do is we're just going to jump back to our desktop here and we're going to clone that repository that we created in the beginning. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this SSH URL and we're going to run git clone and we're going to paste that in. And you can see we're cloning code commit and it looks like we have an empty repository, which is great. And so we're going to jump into this repository and we're going to create a hello world text file and we're going to push that up. And so we'll create this hello world.txt. And we're just going to say hello world. 
We'll save that and we'll run a quick get status just to show that we have some untracked files. And so we're going to go ahead and add that file. And we're going to give it a quick commit message of our initial commit and we're going to push it up to master. And we should see this file go up. Great, and so we have a new branch of master. Now just to verify um, that this file has gone out there, um, we're going to delete this repository and we're going to reclone it just to verify that this file is in fact there. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna remove this and we're gonna run a clone again of that repository. And so if we go into our code commit folder and we do a quick listing, we can see we have hello world. And if we cap this file out, we get hello world. So that concludes our tutorial on AWS code commit. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.